Hello students, let's talk about image zooming. So what image zooming means is you have an original image of a certain size and you want to build a larger image, a zoomed in image or a smaller image, a zoomed out image. Now if your original image is of size 300 by 400, we can scale it up by a scaling factor S, maybe in this case 2, which would generate an image of 800, 600 by 800. So the trick to running image zooming in a programming environment like Python is to understand that we need to run the loops i and j on the zoomed image. That means i would go from 0 to the number of rows minus 1 as usual and j would go from 0 to number of columns minus 1 in the zoomed image. So if you know the size of the original image we can calculate these rows and columns in the zoomed image like this. So rows would be equal to if the original image is im im dot shape 0 times scale columns similarly im dot shape 1 times scale. So we know how to compute the size of the resultant zoomed image. Now what we need is to understand how to fill these pixels in the zoomed image. Now let's consider that we are accessing a particular pixel in the zoomed image. Let's say we are accessing the pixel 100 1 and let's say 233. So we want to find out the value of this pixel and we do not know that. That information has to come from the corresponding pixel in the original image. And what are those values? So in this case we are discussing about the image zooming method using the nearest neighbor interpolation. There is another method called bilinear interpolation. So these are called interpolation methods. What that means is the values of those pixels that we need are not known. So therefore we interpolate by looking at the pixels close by the neighbors in this case. So nearest neighbor is simpler. So what we want to compute are the indices of in the original image, these two numbers. So how do you do that? In the original image, this number should be, if this is i and if this is j, that should be i divided by scale and this number should be j divided by scale. So very simple. But the question is when you do this division depending on the scale what you get is not an integer. So therefore you have to convert that to an integer to be able to access a pixel in the original image. So let's take an example. Now if these two numbers are 100 and 200, 101 and 233, i equals 101 and j equals 233. So i divided by s would be 101 divided by 2 in this case, a scale is 2. 
so that would give me 50.5 then I must write that as 50 to access an integer location only integer locations are defined in the original image then j divided by s would be 233 divided by 5 that means 116.5 so I would access 116th location so in Python we would write this simply as if the zoomed in image is zoomed original image as it took is as im im zoomed ij would be in the original image im i divided by s j divided by s but unfortunately since these numbers can be fractional we have to typecast them to integers now this typecasting thing gives you a number which is always float that means if you have 50.7 you get 50 if you have 116.9 you get 116 so you know that if you get a number like 116.9 it's good to use 170 so this is uh, the operation that you cannot do with this expression that I have written so it is up to you to use some round operation and do the correct nearest neighbor value computation so this needs to be within loops so for i in range 0 to rows and for j in range 0 to calls would do the trick uh, so let's briefly talk about this concern about the computation of the nearest neighbor So assume that we have scale effect is as something like 3. In the zoomed image, we want to access i equals 101 and j equals fill j equals 233. So you know that in the original image these numbers should be i divided by s that means 101 divided by 3 for which you would get thirty three point six seven which is actually not an integer number as you can see so j would be two hundred thirty three divided by three seventy seven point six seven So now consider that in the original image the four pixels nearby this number 
Hadis. These are the four pixels. So the, these are at UK spaced grid locations. So what I'm saying is that this is this pixel is 33,77 this pixel is 33,78 this pixel is 34,77 and this pixel is 34,78 now when you consider these numbers that we computed the location actually is this one 33.67 comma 77.67 so in the nearest neighbor computation we would take the nearest neighbor so nearest neighbor is this one it's close but in the int typecasting that we did in the brief code that we looked at it actually accesses this picture that's not the right thing to do as you see so this is the problem that I described now that is nearest neighbor and now let's think about the bilinear interpolation in the bilinear case what we want to do is using the four pixels around we want to have a bilinear approximation of this value you know so this um, is like this now if I draw it in 3d maybe this pixel is of this side this pixel next pixel is of this side uh, so maybe like this you know third pixel is of uh, something like this if these are the four grid locations so maybe this pixel is at a high level you know so this this height is high like the value of the pixel so you want to find the location value of this pixel this value uh, on this so-called so-called plane you know so in order to do that what you would do is think that there is an imaginary line here think that there is an imaginary line here compute this value of the pixel at this location there is no pixel there so we hallucinate that there is a value there and compute that so how would you do that so there you can see that the ratio is this one is 0.67 this one is 0.33 so you have to estimate this value by looking at these two values so if this the value of this pixel is 50 and this pixel is 117 value here should be 170 multiplied by 0.67 plus 50 multiplied by 0.33 because it's close to 170 like that similarly we compute this value once we have computed that value we consider that there's a line here and we want to compute that considering that this ratio and this ratio, this is 6 7 and this is 3 3 using that we estimate that so this is actually the bilinear operation so you have to um, within your code uh, compute that so let's briefly look at the code um, so in this you can see you do the importing as usual or cv2 as cv numpy as np matplotlib then you read uh, some image so in, in this case I have read an image uh, into him into him 
and I have taken the scaling factor as 0.2 so that scaling factor can be from so 0.1 to 10 whatever but you have to write it in a function I have not done that so I compute the rows and columns so you see when I compute the rows and columns I am multiplying that with scale then uh, compute the zoomed image as np zeros and give these two numbers as rows and columns so change one so within this I have to write the uh, two loops and then you can display the original image and the zoomed image by using OpenCV methods. So here are here is how you would uh, where you would write loops for i in range zero to rows and for j in range zero to columns and then zoomed i comma j so you said you can see that the loops are run on the zoomed image im int i divided by scale int j divided by scale so this way you can do the nearest neighbor zooming slightly inaccurate because this int operation as i told you is not correct for this this operation int is not correct that i cast it because it always rounds it down we do not want that we actually want to round it so when you round it at the very corner very corner of the image this column and that column last row and last column will have problems so there you have to uh, be careful okay so in summary what we looked at was uh, how to zoom an image by a given factor you have the original image and the zoomed image for the zoomed image we come we create and create an umpire array for that and the size of which we compute like this by multiplying by the scale that scale is the one that i said from point from 0 to 10 maybe so inclusive of 10 exclusive of 0 that's what this notation means uh, so there are two methods bilinear nearest neighbor so this in this one i am explaining nearest neighbor so you consider that these are the two integers for uh, locations of pixels for example you want to estimate now and you divide them by uh, scale and run the loops on the zoomed image uh, then i explained you what bilinear interpolation means in the bilinear interpolation you consider the four neighbors and find out where you want to compute the new value when then ratio on these values like this all right thank you